Hey guys, welcome back to Retro Peace Theater. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we just got Alish in the last episode, um, and uh, we're trying to escort her back to uh, the town. And uh, yeah, that pretty much catches you up. There wasn't a whole lot that happened that episode other than uh, doing that. Um, I think there is a secret up here. So she has the ability to find like hidden secrets and stuff because she's a magician. Um, let's go in here. And, oh, I gotta take her inside, not him. I forgot only one person goes inside at a time. Um. There it is. And if you guys could see me right now, you'd probably laugh. Just because, uh... At the moment, um... I, I've injured my back. Nothing nothing severe, but... En enough that I'm... Stretched out on the floor of my office <laughs> recording this. <laughs> because that's about the best I can do. Um, I got an eagle totem, which I believe goes to this one. Yeah. So kind of like the wolf totem. Um, you get stuff when you give them totems. So we got an orb of might. Um, which I'm going to give to her. because her SP is directly tied to her magic abilities. And the orb of vigor, we're going to give to Tau as the warrior to give him more health. Alright. And we're off. Apparently we're in combat. <laughs> At least they're not too terribly difficult. The same thing is true with these guys, it's true when you're fighting the uh, you know the, the normal baddies in the game, the monsters, you just gotta kinda keep the um, the combos flowing, you know, as smooth as you can. Just so you do the most amount of damage without giving them too much of a chance to attack right away. And, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> oh man. She's injured. There we go. I've got enough. Never have enough health potions. something over here she could use her magic for. You know, timeline-wise, we haven't been gone from the area that long, and they've already managed to clean up all the dead bodies and everything. Well done. I'm going to use that orb of might on him. Uh, on Tal. Just because his is kind of low and his abilities require more as uh, he gets stronger. Which 
trying to look. I don't think there's... There's another magic spot that we passed by a well. Uh, I just gotta find it. I don't think I've come up on it yet. Wild creature combat. These scarecrows look like something out of... I don't know, they almost remind me of the uh, scarecrow versions of the robots in um, War of the Worlds. And I don't mean the any of the remakes, I'm talking about the original black and white War of the Worlds. Where they were kind of uh, these like giant spider-looking things. I think I'm remembering that right. I might have the wrong movie. I'm just pretty sure that was it. And I think I can move this outhouse, but I can't get up here. I think I need Buki um, because she's a cat, essentially, um, to climb up there. Another eagle totem, but I'm not going to go all the way back to it right now. I can always go that way later. Pretty sure I can, at least. Man, she does not have a very high defense. That or she just gets, uh, gets hit a lot during combat. Well, trader dude. Ram boss, hair and skin trainer to the hinterland. What sort of hide can you offer me? Man, nobody has a consistent accent in this game. <laughs> um, we're just gonna sell all these. can't get over how beautiful the environment is. I mean, I've, I've seen modern day games that don't use color this well, uh, in my opinion. I think it's just so well done. Props to the uh, art team on this one.
and I died. Okay, that was that was that was pretty bad. All right, I saved uh, just before going into that mess. Let's try playing as uh, Alish. See what we got here. Not particularly a fan of the recharge on her weapon. So, I suppose if you shoot and move, shoot and move, it's not terrible. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm apparently terrible at this game. <laughs> All right, we'll give it one, we'll give it another go. Finally. That was brutal. Alright then. <sighs> I guess that was like the equivalent of a mini boss fight. <laughs> I wish I had known about that. Use that in the last one. <laughs> Those that stand before me die. 
I love that sound of them exploding. I think that's just greatly amusing. I'm also kind of a sick and twisted person that way, I guess. Way to be useful, boys. I like how people are not reacting to the fact that the princess is just running through the castle. Like, that's just not... Like, nobody's reacting. Like, is that is it not important? Why are you not on your knees? Yay. certainly are. And it looks as though they've finished Elko's tower. Well, that will keep him happy for a while. Maybe he could give himself a day off. <laughs> Don't let Tilly hear you say that. She would die of shock. <laughs> He's very focused on his work, isn't he? This is an awkward yes. conversation. <laughs> Obsessed is another word. I think that's why he gets on so well with Mother. Oh, yes, your mother. My queen. How could I forget about the ruler of the land? Ailish, I'm... I'm not saying you were right to come along, but... Well, thanks. It, it was... It was fun, wasn't it? Yes, yes, no! Do it now! Ailish, Dal, I'm so glad you're back to see this. We are going live. Look, look up at the tower. Yes! Oh, it's glorious! <laughs> Fantastic. That's quite an achievement, Elko. I hope you're gonna give yourself a bit of a rest now. <laughs> No time to rest for either of us, I'm afraid. You had best get yourself ready for action because we have more crystals together. That beam looks off color. 
heat sink. Damn it all! <laughs> I forgot to activate the heat sink. Tal, I'll explain everything later. I am going to Shidanimo. Shidanimo? How is it that Alko speaks so fast and yet never explains anything? Right. Well, I guess we have some explaining of our own to do. I suppose we have. Tal. Thanks. Awkward flirting achieved. That was painful to watch, not gonna lie. General Arlo was waiting for you in the training ground. He seemed a little upset. I uh, wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. Seriously, why does nobody have a consistent accent in this? Nobody, not a one. Not a one. I'm gonna go bite some more stuff though. So I don't have to do it later. No. Get a few of those. Get a few of those. Uh, and we're gonna get another one of those. Hundred feet, and I got fifteen experience for it. Sir, I heard you wanted to see me. That's right. I wanted to see the new royal champion. I have to say, though, I'm glad I never served with you at my side. You're the kiss of death, aren't you? Every rookie that takes a tour with you dies within the hour. Why is that, Tal? I guess some of us just don't make it back. Something happened out there. I only just survived myself. Oh, you're a born survivor, aren't you? I mean to say, you survived when Private Abraham didn't. You survived when Officer Brashill didn't. And of course, you survived when your brother didn't! What's this gotta do with Everything! Me? Damn it. He was your son, but he was my brother. You don't think I wish I could change things? You just have to cast blame somewhere, don't you? Be quiet, soldier! You might have fooled the princess into thinking you're a hero, but I know better! Seems Ailish has requested that I transfer you to the courtroom. Now listen! You have brought enough shame on my family without embarrassing yourself by flirting with royalty! Now get out of here! Hashtag world's greatest dad. Fancy, fancy. Actually, this is quite nice. Mm. Man, this game just hands out experience. I'll remind that next time I play D&D. Hey, I walked from the town to the tavern. Where's my experience points? Furthermore, Your Majesty, we are pleased to report that under your reign, we have achieved unprecedented I hate these court meetings. The Always full of farmers and prattling on about how much tax they pay or some such nonsense. With your firm and steady yes, or worse tower, still, are those spawning diplomats sucking up to mother in hopes of a knighthood. 
Yes. The royal court, thank Those terrible people complain about how much words. money they have to pay to their government. Is this the last one? Yes, ma'am. Now, to Elko's progress report on the Crystal Towers. The work is on schedule, ma'am. When the machine is completed, we'll be able to store enough magical energy to safeguard our kingdom for generations. We have one tower up and running, but the other three remain dormant as yet. We urgently need to acquire three large crystals, and it seems that the village of Shadani Mo contains one of sufficient size. The crystal is not his to take. Ah, uh, may I present Buki from the Shadani Mo Warrior Council? They have some reservations... Uh, um, worries uh, about our request to take the Shadani crystal. The stone is sacred and cannot be moved. It will launch a plague of demons if it falls into the wrong hands. Buki, the machine is designed to protect and serve not just Illumina, but all of the Bright Empire, including Shadani Mo. These are not the wrong hands. The crystal must stay within the temple. She really needs to watch her tongue. I can see black clouds forming around Mother's head. You would put the safety of Shadani Mo before that of the rest of the Empire? When we asked Illumina to help fight the demons in our temple, you ignored us. But now that you covered our crystal, we're supposed to be allies. Illumina is also plagued by monsters and raids by the Eclorian troops. I believe they're linked in some way. Surely you recognize the grave danger we all face. I must return to my people. Our situation has worsened these last few weeks. The Shidani must fight alone. We will not bargain with our heritage. Elko, follow her. Things will get worse for the Shidani, and soon they will be forced to give us the crystal. Take young Tal with you as your personal guard. Elko, do not return without that crystal. Oh, he was no sooner here than he's gone again. Looks like you're not going to see your soldier boy for a while then. Though, I'm sure Buki will keep him occupied. Nonsense. I think I shall arrange a royal visit to Shadani Mo, and you can keep quiet, or I'll send you back to that dreary little village of yours. Oh, I'm saying nothing. It's up to you if you want to run the risk of upsetting the Queen by running off into the wilds. I'll have none of it, especially after you left me high and dry in New Brightwater the other day. I might have been killed travelling back alone. Well, okay then. Hopefully I don't have to travel too far as just her or her. She's not the best in solo combat.
But I kind of feel like the queen and the princess are actually pretty terrible people. <laughs> like, the queen is just, you know, I mean, she's a queen, she's a ruler, she has to think about the greater good of the realm. Um, but completely, you know, ignorant, or at least unwilling to acknowledge the heritage of the Shadanimo. And then you have Princess Ailish, who is just a selfish little brat. Um, you know, leaving her friend and just not caring, threatening to send her back to the the village. I mean, those are, those are just selfish actions. Seriously. You know, I would change to the uh, other weapon, but the truth of the matter is uh, I'm kind of stuck in the position I'm in, and I have to use the mouse wheel to do it. Unless, let me see. Uh, nope, I can do it that way. Cool. Way more effective than the shock stack. Man, there's a lot of them. If anybody gets uh, sick from the motion sickness here, I do apologize. Yeah, I've gotten into a position where I'm on the floor and I can't get up very well. Ah, good times. Good times. I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I think I'm doing this. Yeah, that's not Yeah, definitely a better staff than the shock staff, in my opinion. Alright, so when I get to the next save point, I'm going to end this episode, because uh, I'll be at about my time limit. I try to keep these at about 30, 35 minutes long. Uh, and I know I don't get exact, but I try to keep it balanced so that you're not watching these for forever. Um, and I've had people ask about the Ocarina of Time playthrough. I am still doing that. Um, I just discovered this and shifted my attention uh, a little bit, but I am still planning to finish uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, I've started a Pokemon Blue playthrough. Um, I have actually lost some of my session from that, so I may have to re-record it or something. Uh, or maybe I'll do it with the different Pokemon games. But it, the Pokemon games uh, are kind of cursed for me because it feels like every time I uh, start one, I always end up losing recording data somewhere. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. I've also been told I should do Final Fantasy VII. But I'm, I have, uh, since the remake is out on the PS4, um, I thought about doing the classic Final Fantasy VII. But the problem with that is uh, I don't know if I want to get into that involved with the game. Which is a great game. Nothing, nothing wrong with the game. I just, uh, that's going to be, that could be years <laughs> for me to finally get through recording the episodes to play uh, all of that. And I never finished uh, some of my other Final Fantasy playthroughs. I've got a lot that's unfinished on this channel the more I think about it, so I'm going to stop talking about it. It's a lot of sheep. I don't think I'm... Am I supposed to do anything with these guys? Hello there. I am Farmer Ava. Greatest sheep herder in all Illumina. You 
Great. We'll give it a shot. If you beat my record, I'll give you a worthwhile. The clocks take it. Stop it. Apparently I'm very bad at this. Got them all. How about that must be beginner's luck. Use your prize. Come back sometime. Oh. Neat. Okay, moving along. Path of totems. Can't go that way. Not yet, at least. This is a wonderful little trip through the canyon side. Let's see. I think I have to go this way. Man, where's the save point when you need one? <laughs> I got them pretty much in a line. You will burn in the inferno! You know, maybe her defense would be better if she were wearing actual armor. Just a, just a thought. Which, I know I am not the first to have that thought. Many a cartoon and comic has been made about women's armor and RPGs. Especially, uh, uh, JRPGs and the like. Oh, you again. 
daughter of Sudeki. You are the successor of Lady Olivites, champion of magic, light, and beauty. Call upon her in sour times, and her mystical light will lift your spirit. If possible, what? somehow even more I don't understand what you scantily mean. clad outfit. <laughs> I've got to know more. Come back. Tetsu. A Libertess, Queen of Light. Banish those who assail us. Cause them to spontaneously explode. That works too. Okay. Well, that was neat. Where's a save point? <laughs> I need a save point. Now we travel to the land of the furries. No judging. No, uh, no judgment here. Just, just acknowledging it's a bunch of furry people, a bunch of anthropologic, anth anthropological individuals. Somewhat humanoid. Ah, safe point. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, next time, I guess we'll go into the Shidani village. Uh, thanks, guys. It's fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.